Okay, welcome everyone. Let's will start our third lesson, which is LO, which in this lesson will cover LO3, which is learning outcome three. My name is Anjum Sattar. My email address is anjum at uk. If you have any question, please drop me email on this my email address. So we are doing ATHE level four extended diploma in business and management and our modules a unit which we are doing entrepreneurship and LO3 is be able to evaluate the viability of new entrepreneurial ideas. So today we'll look around ideas. In our uh, life, we have a lot of ideas, a lot of ideas come in your mind, you know, and how we can implement those ideas into practice. We need to be look around ideas and then we need to be look write down all ideas and we need to pick the one idea that is a feasible to implement in the organization and the, whatever the ideas we have so we need to look around in term of three m's so what we need to look around in term of ideas three m's so we need to look around though we have a human resource manpower workers to uh, to, if we want to launch a new product, we need to look around the resources, three ends. So manpower, human being, workers, then we need to look around material, material infrastructure, our resources in terms of physical resources. We have those or not. Then we need to look around if we have all these, but where the money will come from. So that's, you know, to put the ideas in place. So we need to be look around all this, these, you know, so ideas, backup resources. So today lesson will be focus on these and we'll go through it. So before starting our lesson, so first we'll recap what we learned up to now. So let's please, we'll recap what we learned up to now. So lesson one, we have discussed about understand entrepreneurial business. We discuss about entrepreneurial life cycle, evaluate how entrepreneurial ship encourage and support in, in different countries. What are the incentive government is offering to various entrepreneurs, various business persons? So second lesson, we discuss about understand the skills and quality of a successful entrepreneur. We discuss about <coughs> those people are very successful in the business so what sort of the skills and qualities required in those so we discuss about in lo1 what is entrepreneurial shape we discuss about new idea conception creation of organization to arrest opportunities we discuss you know in these lessons we discuss about european commission of entrepreneurial ship so that's we discuss about world economic forum role as well we discuss about dit global entrepreneurial programs you know the visas and teach stars in london and various other exchange program with between various countries as well so picking the ideas and implement so second lesson we discuss about understand the skills and quality of successful where we discuss about small entrepreneurial lifestyle of entrepreneurial high growth potential professional and we discuss about skills and qualities we discuss about the normally organizing skills we discuss a motivating skills people we discuss about team skill team building we discuss about decision making skill we discuss about creativity uh selecting the best option from various alternative we discuss you know those are normally imaginative those are very committed, those have a good problem solving skill, and those have a good interpersonal skills as well, which we discussed during. So today lesson will move to LO3. LO3 is be evaluate the viability of the new entrepreneurial ideas. So new business opportunities. So think about new business opportunities. So there are always opportunities carry on coming because opportunities always come. A couple of you already learn about SWOT analysis. So strength, weakness is always internal opportunities and threats come from external. So you always try to explore the opportunities. <clears throat> so get the ideas, ideas implement and try to avail the opportunities. So service, we discussed service is mean uh, intangible. If we can't see it, it's not a product. It's intangible, it's an instant. You have to meet the customer. So is the satisfaction is a key in the service. 
because it's a not a product if your first impression is a last impression last impression is a first impression so lot of so we need to be understand our customer better product we discuss about anything have a uh, ability to satisfy human needs and wants we call the product product is not the thing which don't satisfy human needs and wants so product is actually it should satisfy you need to be look around the product which we are going to launch is it really will solve or address any issues that the customer really want that will be the needs or the wants of the customer will be filled so new business model so always look the new business model like uh, a dial direct business model directly cutting the middleman yes so producing idea generation how we can then we'll go through a peter drucker one of the great scholar he wrote many books and he said in one of his book failure of organization is a failure of managers and uh, success of organization is success of managers it's all about how you well manage it so he gave the seven source of innovation what sort of innovation we can bring it so which will be focus in our discussion uh, making recommendation selection workable ideas justify the business case so when your business case is making you putting the ideas into business case as a proposal so you need to be make sure is a backup with the resources backup with and there should be a smart objective specific measurable achievable realistic and time defined financial which will go through cash inflows cash outflow projections customer base gap market you need to identify the gaps in the market so all this will be focused today lesson so we'll go through now our <clears throat> enterprise focus on the developing skills attitudes and the knowledge in the three areas enterprise capability innovation creativity risk management risk taking so if you have a ideas you need to be look around how much is risky are you have a personality as a leader to be taking the risk can do attitudes and drive them make things happen financial literacy so you need a good financial knowledge about ability to manage one own finances and to become a questioning informed consumer of the financials business and economics undertaking the ability to understand the business context understand the environment so what is all about so today we'll first 3.1 proposed and justify the range of new entrepreneurial ideas so first of all an equation you need to understand the equation good ideas plus entrepreneurial your skills equal to the business potential that's all you know the business potential so that's the equation always you know we look if so creative thinking for business ideas <clears throat> blue skies thinking lateral thinking and debon six heads so these are all debon six head is one of the model yes all these models so how we can look around the good business idea solve a problem so you need to look around the idea you have the customer have a problem no day this idea will help it to solve the problem so if the the ideas you have the help to solve the problem okay second maybe we can look around offer a better and the cheaper way or maybe if you just like you know a lot of company they are offering online tutoring online delivering the course like we are offering the blended learning program this course so you need to look around offer a better is a cheaper way we can learn our own place we can learn whenever we want to is like a collection recorded and that's a cheaper way as well so the idea is we need to look around if really people need it because people don't have a spare time physical class so is that's why the idea is is a practical able is we can implement it simple and practical cable so we need to look around can be delivered quickly yes we need to look around can we deliver the quickly anticipate the trend and exploit the growing market you need to anticipate the trend what trend is going around if you don't follow the trend doesn't matter whatever the company you couple of you heard about thomas cook yes thomas cook so you need to look around thomas cook airline yes what's happened with them is collapse why why we reach at that point the organization collapse so oh, because we not follow the trend we not pick the new idea we not implement it the loss making unit we should be rid of 
Yes, because in the business, some are the unit, some are the section of the business giving you losses. So maybe we can. So we we can look around the ideas. Okay. What is the blue skies thinking? So blue sky thinking is can kind of brainstorming. You you have a sort lot of ideas brainstorming. You need to look around which one. No limit in what is suggested. And no preconceptions about what uh, what the answers might be. So encourage contributors. So in your own organization, you have to encourage. Like you know, one of the company selling milk uh, and making and uh, packaging milk, and then they did the survey, and someone said they like thick milk. You know, the full milk with the cream. So that they pick they pick the idea thick milk. And then they put in the advertising campaign. So ideas need to be they implement. They did the research. They put the ideas in place, and the brand it became very successful in Asian market. So in as many ideas as possible. Yes. So you get ideas. Don't because that's why is a communication gap between you and your worker because your ideas can come because they have a first interaction with the client. So only when flow of ideas as Stop its commercial potential considered. So we need to be look around those. So always look ideas. Blue sky thinking is all about kind of brainstorming. There is a no limit. Always you know involve contributor. That's the key points. Literal thinking. What is all about literal thinking? About reasoning. That is not immediately obvious. So you need to be looked around literal thinking. Is there an idea you have? Is it many any reasons? Idea that may not be obtained by using only traditional step by step logic. So you need to look around the, the ideas you have that may not be obtained by using only traditional step by step logic. Sometimes called thinking outside the box. So literal thinking, thinking outside the box. You know that some some people think outside the box. Some people think a mile ahead. What is going to be happening in few years time? So you're thinking outside the box. So we need to be think about if we don't do it, what will be happen? Tries to come up with the new and unexpected ideas. Try. You are always trying. You observing how you can. I think so is a good idea, guys. Everyone. Those are listening this recording. It's good to be when you have an idea, write down in your diary. Yes, when you have any ideas come in your mind, write down. Even you're doing assignment, and you think, oh, you can do this. You can include this, or you think, you know, you have a light, lot of good example. Maybe you're working, you observe something, and it's come came in your mind, and it's always good to be write down. If you don't write down, then reflect it. Yes, is this is really good, and then of course you know that will you can use it. <clears throat> Next D, bonus six head. So this is six head. You know, sometimes you have to wear six head. If you are a manager, you are working, you have to wear six head, six different caps. You know, we can say. So we need to be look at neutrality. So considering purely what information is available, what are the facts, quantify the data on the market would be considered with the head on. So you need to think about. First of all, you want have ideas. You wear the head. You have a you have a pure information facts. You have a facts and figures. You can quantitative data. You have a quantitative data numbers. Yes, quantitative and qualitative research. Quantitative is numbers. Qualitative is the information. Do you have a quantitative and consider with this? So you wear you have a data. You need a data. Then you can make a decision based on feeling. That that was you know we said six caps six hats so first white hat white hat is mean you consider purely quantifiable data that's all about sometimes you wear that red hat red hat is a feeling is all about feeling not about data is a feeling so is gut reaction statement of emotional feeling but not any justification sometime you have oh it's my feeling i think you know we can do it but there is no data behind it so that's called red hat sometime you you putting and you writing what your feelings are so rely on the intensive gut feel 
with their business idea you have some sort of ideas but there is no justification as well but write down it please always good to be so because you're wearing the red hair now you have feeling write down your feeling yes the next is a black hat you're wearing the black cap now negative judgment sometime you have a logic apply to identify the flaws or the barriers seeking mismatch so you are seeking the black hat encouraged to entrepreneurial to think about the thinking that might goes wrong with the idea so you have to think about we have ideas to cut the implies so let's see you cut the implies okay no problem if you cut the implies what will be happen so you not meet or not deliver the goods which you promised maybe you have to pay penalties to because your client can claim against you you need to think about if you don't meet the expectation what will be happen the sale you getting you need to think about how many new companies are entering into the market so that sort of you know you need a good okay that's why how many of us we have a nokia anybody have a nokia nokia mobile nokia used to be leader in the world so but the ceo of the company have a idea to cut the research and development cost because he learned just you know research and development cost is a waste of money so just you know cutting the research and closing they not managed to launch the latest uh innovative creative handset so what will be happen nokia carry on becoming a smaller company so you black head you have you need to be thinking about the things might go wrong you have to look around if you cut it what can be effect on positive and always uh, every kind have a two side so we need to look around positive and negative what effect will be positive judgment yellow hat you can wear the yellow hat look around logic apply to identify the benefit is it if we will develop research and development give us ideas can we have a resources to implement the ideas okay we have ideas but we don't have a resource this is the opposite of the black hat what are all the positive or uh, upside from the ideas what is the best that might be happen so yellow hat yellow cap you wearing as a and you can thinking is all about your thinking so yellow head is a logic applied huh? so we can look around <clears throat> next we looking the creative thinking creative thinking what is about creative thinking green head you wear the green cap statement of provocation are the investigation seeking what are what a thought goes and this is the hat which which encourage literal thinking so you have to look around the literal thinking literal thinking that's your hat you need to be wear so that's you know we need to be look around and process control blue hat so thinking about thinking you think and think again the blue hat encourage entrepreneurial to consider and evaluate you have consider it you have evaluate the what will be bring this idea for you what will be the consequences by implementing this idea coming from other five head so you look all the five head. so six thinking head you have a white you have a red you have a black you have a yellow you have a green you have a blue so that's d born six head the guy's name was and he gave six hand thinking so king of shaves will had a sensitive like example if you look these companies uh, shaving yes they make uh, plates so with the fed up with the razor burn during wet shaving girlfriend suggest using oil and skin during the shaving and the new product was born so that's all about you know so you thinking huh? getting the ideas from green thumb entrepreneurial stephen ring he meet someone at a wedding in the us who run a loan treatment service stephen was the first into the market with the same ideas in the uk and launched a franchise business so we need to look around us where the ideas carry coming on okay let's you know what make good ideas good idea needs customer there is a no point creating a product or the service unless someone want to buy it 
gap in the market. So you need to look around what the gap in the markets are. Mar market in the gap. But there is a, is there any ideas or any product that fill the gap? So you have a gap there and you can identify how you can, your product, your idea can fill the gap in the market. Popular source of information. Where you can get the information? Yes. So business experience. Good ways of getting insight into what workers and more realistic business plans less need for the market research the business experience if you have personal experience day-to-day -day activities interests and hobbies that give you experience bad experience are the frustrations you need to look around observation watching closely what's happened to the customer including in other market look for the poor customer service Remember that there are the very few original business ideas, well-worn ideas work too with a fresh approach. So you need to look around the fresh approach. You need to embed it. Good idea really come in the flash. They take time to develop. So always, you know, you take the time. Don't need to be rushed. It. Sometimes the, the idea doesn't have to be yours. You can copy someone else so long as it is illegal to do so maybe they use in different industry you can little bit twist it to apply in your industry good idea really come from the committees hardly to come from the committee so yes guys so the member yes the key driver of entrepreneurial is the global Competition. If the global competition increase, increasing technology advances, changing and diverse market need, increase the environmental concern. Consider some problems, benefit associated with the entrepreneur, is a good business idea or not? Yes. What would be the advantage of starting a new enterprise? Are there any aspect of starting a new enterprise you would be concerned? So innovation. So you need to look around innovation. What is the innovation? The successful exploitation of new ideas, the innovation until, you know, we need to look around, bring ideas to life. That's all innovation. So we need to look around. Next, we're looking now. Anybody, any questions? So we discuss about ideas, the way of thinking, blue sky, literal thinking. We declare deborn six head approach. And that's, you know, to ideas and try to be implement and we link with the innovation definition. You need to look around the, is the idea is the new innovative or just, you know, the old idea of putting in a new perspective. Okay. Assess the application of the model theory of innovation, new business opportunities. So what we need to be look around new business opportunities. Yes. So source within a business or the industry, unexpected successes and unexpected failures. In congruities, process needs, and change in the industries and market structure. Change outside the industry, then changing in the demographic. People moved around, people travel around, people migrate, people immigrate. Changes in the meaning and the perceptions. People's perceptions change about different rights. New knowledge is being developing. Okay, what is the innovation? The definition of innovation, uh, this implies that it is not just an invention for the new ideas we are interested in, but this idea is actually brought to market, use put into practice, 
exploit it in some ways, maybe leading to the new product processes and the system attitude and the service that improve, improve something or add value. Okay, we need to be look around add value by changing old organization forms and the practices. Organization that don't innovate effective may be destroyed by those who do. So can someone provide the example of organization who suffered due to the lack of innovation? Yes, think about a lot of Thomas Cook, one of recent examples. They can, why the Ryanair, EasyJet and others. Think about BHS British Home Store. Why Primax is growing British Home Store reach at that point they have to close. So we need to be think about, yes. Type of inno innovations can be incremental innovation where something add or modify. This may mean that an old idea is transferred to the new setting, that existing ideas are embedding in the new setting. Radically innovation, which involve the completely new ideas. Product innovation that entails that the introduction of the new product or the services that is the new or the considerably improved. Process innovation in comparing the implementation of the new or the significant enhanced production or the delivery method. Market innovation this is a result in the evaluation of the new method, marketing and enhancement in the product design or the packaging. So we need to look around these all can be in the product innovation, in the process innovation, in the market innovation. So these are the types of innovation. So in a small group, maybe in a small, in in the real, because of course you all working in a different uh, location and you're listening this lesson, but maybe in your own, you can think about innovation that has taken place in your own organization right now. Maybe you can think it was the product innovation, process innovation or marketing innovation. Maybe you went to the social media advertising. That can be innovation, innovative ideas. In the group, maybe we can discuss about, or please, if you're listening your own, maybe you can discuss yourself, write down on, show the innovation related to the theories and the definition. So what we can do, what were the successful, this innovation, what this new idea, does the defer what competitor do? Did it add the values to your organization? You have to ask the question yourself. Creativity. What is the creativity? What you thought about creativity? What is the creative things? Why you are the creative in the organization? Then thus you may be, you're applying the job somewhere and you need to look around. How creative? So somebody, what you bring the new thing? So you have a good ideas. So you can can't use a creativity the more you use the more you have so you become a creative if more you use more you apply more you creative the ability to use different modes of thought to generate new dynamic ideas and solutions always need of innovation Corporation must be able to adopt and evolve if you wish to be survived if you don't innovation bring you can't survive it can be happen like a thomas cook Business operate with the knowledge that their competitor with inevitably comes to the market with the product that changes the basis of competition. The ability to change and adopt is essential to survival. The day and the ideas innovation widely accepted. It has become part of our culture. Companies that are established themselves as a technical and market leader, have shown ability to develop successful. So you need, what we need? Advancing technology, changing environment, economic recession, following society, youth culture, following customer desire and expectation, competitor improving product processes and service. Customers will go elsewhere, wider, availability of alternative product and company. What happens if you don't innovate? Customers stop buying your product, processes, and the service. Sale dropped, revenue dropped, shareholder return dropped, stock price dropped, key implies leave. So how brand work against the innovative and creative? Companies have established the brand become a 
Mm. So we need to rely on the brand bring the success. As the brand is successful, achieve highest sale and customer, uh, the company is satisfied and the neglect research and the development into the new idea falls behind the competitor. If the brand fails to move with the time and show the innovation, consumer will happily switch the brand. In order to meet the changing the needs of the customer, consumer, to stay ahead than competition, the manufactured brand must strive continuous innovation and improvement. So example of the brand that fell behind. KitKat. Uber. If you compare with Dyson, Gas Marks and Spencer, Woolworth is being liquidated. How can the brand can be innovative? Brand become very on for showing innovation. Brand is identified as innovator. Create brand loyalty for consumer who want the latest technology. Product can be sold at the premium price. Brand become market leader. So how you can? Apple. Sony, think about Amazon, Dyson. These how can brand work for innovation? Is the innovation yes? So advantages of innovation. In of course you're just listening. It's not a class. It's a blended learning. We are delivering this online course, so you can maybe individually think about advantage of innovation and creativity. You can create a mind map. Think about example of the company that benefited through showing innovation, and and uh, we can you know go through last lesson as well. I mentioned you, and we can really yes. So in my last lesson, uh, that last week I can say because the last lesson was in previous week. Okay, so we can look around. Okay, advantages of innovation company. Are the first two marquee with the product can change the of course if you first enter can charge a premium price attract the best customer improve the market share beast so these are the advantages this advantages can be freedom of express faith of confidence energetic so connection with the creative people time in the time limit in creative zone and wide era of ideas no wrong answers and work can be fun so disadvantage of innovation in in pair or in uh, because of course again you're doing your own so maybe we can look around in the small group where we can say yes creative so show innovation and creative so we can look around okay disadvantage risk involved of course you know if you well innovative and the successful look at the C5 cost expense and the research have uh, imply highly. So you have some uh, disadvantage. Creative people can too care free and RT. Creative meeting tend to be have a uh, no structure. Is being creative, productive, uh, product quality. So all this we need to be look around. Marketing. Uh, oriented business marketing oriented business always focus on the customer and internal oriented business they just convenience come first so that's the key difference between the convenience so please you know you need to be look around you want to be market driven business or you want to be internally driven business okay then efficient and effective ineffective uh, is can we go out of the business quickly Effective survives, yes. Effective always survives. So efficient dies slowly, ineffective, but uh, effective always does well, you know. So inefficient and efficient. So we need to be efficient business, creating customer value. So all whatever we are doing in an innovation and creativity, always we need to think about how we can create the customer value positive, so customer can perceive the benefit. Uh, so negative is the perceived sacrifice, monetary cost, time cost, energy cost. So all this, you know, with today lesson, we focus about. So ultimately, if you create the customer value, we need to product. We need to be focused on the product benefit. We need to look around the service benefit. We need to look around the monetary cost, time cost, 
perceived benefit is the customer value, perceived sacrifice, rational benefit, image benefit, energy cost, and all you know psychological cost. So all we need to be look around how we can. So I copied guys the quiz as well. So please you know how you can start up, how you can implement the idea. So please you can copy this link and do a bit quiz to further enhance your understanding. So today lesson we just focus about our L3. So we discuss about what is ideas, what is the creativity meant by, and uh, we discuss about uh, an equation as well. Good ideas always plus entrepreneurial and equal to business potential is increased. So we discuss about blue sky, literal thinking, D bonds, and we discuss what is good ideas mean, where the ideas come from. Then we discuss about innovation. We discuss about creativity. We discuss about what sort of the benefit those company have good creative. And you know, there is mentioned group because you're doing is the individually activity. Maybe you can think about and you can write some points, you know. So that's all today lesson. And in the next lesson, we'll go through LO4. LO4 will be our last learning outcome. If you have any question, feel free, drop me email on my email address, anyum at ukversity.co.uk. Hope so. I will see you all and we'll go through next lesson, our LO4. Thank you. Have a nice time. Thank you. Bye-bye.